Feel the thrill. We gotta do a bonus class, man. I miss this guy so much. This game actually has been fun. Guys, come over here. Look at this. How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. What's going on, guys? Ness, you want to hear? Get in the fucking net or I'll find you and kill you, you stupid dick. I'm gonna go through everything wrong with NHL 23 and the current state of EA NHL games. Let's go. Hockey Ultimate Team. The new Rivals game modes we got were absolute butthole, such as Arcade Rivals, which had no offsides and if you wanted to feel like you're playing on cocaine. International Ice, which was cool for a bit but got annoying and old very fast when people would just skate down the wall with gold wheels. And Full Sim, where every player couldn't catch a pass no matter what their overall was, and it felt like you were just skating through quicksand. Very fun! The only redeeming game mode was Burst, because it was only one minute periods, and most people's attention spans are cooked now because of TikTok and NPC videos. Give us competitive seasons back, or at least online seasons, please. Fuck rivals. Objectives. Give us more packs! Fuck the coins! I have a hot pack addiction! What type of gambling that you do? Uh, hot packs. EA's got me by the Johns. Uh, what type? Is that like casino or? Uh, it's more like, you know, just hot packs. We spend a hundred dollars plus every year just to play for five to six months, then go play other games because nobody wants to play 99 Hot anymore. Gameplay. This clip I'm about to show you was one of the main gameplay changes they showed in the trailer this year. As well. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look right. Position, those desperation plays can be easily that. That. I'm confused. Are we playing NHL or are we playing fucking FIFA? I couldn't tell, Neymar. X-Factors. These fucking abilities break an already broken game. I did a poll on Twitter a few months ago about whether these should be in the game or not, and majority said, get them out of here. Since all the other sports games use abilities and traits now, I don't think these are leaving anytime soon, unfortunately. But can we at least take some out? There's way too many. There's five different X factors for shooting alone. Snipe, close quarters, make it snappy, 1T, and beauty backhand. As well as ankle breaker and puck on a string basically doing the same thing. Why? Some of these X factors do the same thing. Why are there so many? Trim the fatty, eh? The ways to score. Don't get me wrong, I am an absolute whore for glitch raps. But EA made it way too easy for them to go in this year. No matter what EA patches, there's always going to be raps in the game, which I'm okay with most of the time. It adds a skill gap. But when it goes in almost every time and everyone knows how to do it, it just... It just defeats the purpose. Even though NHL 22 was horrible, at least the ways to score were okay. There weren't as many raps, they were harder to do, plus there wasn't the goal line shot being spammed like this year and in NHL 21. I'm fine with cross creases being a little bit harder to save and goalies not sprawling across every time to save it, as long as there's more of a skill gap with all the other damn goals. Ow, P, but you're just spamming glitch goals and explaining the game. Shut up! In this instance, hate the game, not the player. Eshul. In my opinion, censorship has gone way too far with the Eshul names. I get there are morons that make their Eshul player names some out of pocket wild shit but god damn it i've put my player name as ram ranch since nhl 17 and now all of a sudden it's profanity i've seen some actual first names be banned as well same with another one which is coochie man spelled k-u-c-h-y-m-a-n come on like, let us have some fun quick disclaimer i don't fully blame ea for the state of the game i partly blame the nhl community for giving non-constructive criticism and just being toxic for example i was recording gameplay for the background of this very video and well um <laughs> i dropped a sports car just i'm a fucking in your life what a nice guy last topic gwc aka wor world championship i like that they added the versus tournaments for every nhl team they need to keep that otherwise for the hut qualifiers why are we still qualifying with 99 overall teams when the top eight or four or whatever 
is made up of drafted teams that are no more than like 90 overalls. There should honestly be some kind of limit to the overalls for qualifiers to keep it consistent throughout the whole tournament because playing with 99 overall teams just rewards RNG, we all know this, and keeps some of the best players out that should be on the main stage to grow the eSport even more. That's my rant. Let me know what I missed in the comments. I'll probably come out with one more end of the year video just compiling my best clips and moments from this year. So do watch out for that. I have a lot of video ideas planned that I want to keep for NHL 24. So stay tuned. We're going to change the content game next year, baby. Like and subscribe or you will not pack McDavid or McKinnon next year. Peace.